Now you would like this story a whole lot better if this was the story we told you. Esther woke up one morning, couldn't wait to get down to the liquor store. <laughs> That's where she buys her water and milk. But on this particular morning, she got up, she couldn't wait to get there and she bought a lottery ticket and she won $10 million. No, she didn't, but you would like that story better. You would like that story better. In other words, you're always wanting the big payoff. We're wanting you to understand that your big payoff life is a series of good feeling events over which you have control because you are daydreaming because you're maintaining your feeling of alignment and you're following your impulses so that everywhere you go, the best that the universe has to deliver to you is delivered to you moment by moment by moment by moment by moment. And that is what living happily ever after really is. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. But you cannot hold yourself in vibrational resistance as your practical mind keeps taking score of where you are instead of where you want to be. And because you've not really understood this and you've not allowed yourself to purposefully daydream because you've oriented yourself to too much practicality because you've been measuring your success in life to how others have approached you or others have approved of you. Those you work for, expect things of you and you want to perform in a way that pleases them and those who you were born to expect things of you you've given over your power to almost everyone else seeking approval from their factoring you into them and that's all right because if you don't do what Esther wants you to do she'll find someone who will <laughs> are you afraid no <laughs> of course you want to do the things that you are supposed to be doing we're just asking you to daydream too are you following we're just asking you to begin leveraging this energy that creates worlds now right now you're sort of limp about it we just delivered to you a soliloquy that could take you happily ever after into outrageous success on any endeavor that you're about and you are limp about it because it doesn't seem big enough it doesn't seem important enough we ask for zero sacrifice no sacrifice no struggle no attention no effort we didn't ask for any of the things that you equate with success you've been barking up the wrong tree for quite a long time it's time for you to start being nicer to yourself and daydreaming more and being happier about things and giving yourself more leeway and going to more places where you feel good and looking for more vistas that you can sit and look at and more daydreaming more just giving yourself the opportunity to let your mind be still while your vibration rises so that then you can receive the impulse to put you in the right place at the right time for the things that you are looking for we've enjoyed this interaction immensely <laughs> So now we want to visit with you about what matters to you and we are not guiding you away from the nitty-gritty of your life but we are giving you a sort of advanced announcement that while the nitty-gritty of your life is something worth talking about and we'll help you shift energy on anything that's important to you we're also going to ask you to reach with us for a sort of overview we'll shoot off firecrackers with you here all day long we will if that's what you want we'll talk about that kind of low powered stuff if that's what you want or we can get into the big leverage in other words we promise you that when those men take that smokestack off Esther's house and they will that they will bring the biggest crane that anyone has ever seen <laughs> and they will plant it on the street almost a neighborhood away and they will reach over several places with this big crane they will not bring a hammer and a chisel and a saw they will bring a crane a really really big crane and lots of really really big chain in other words it's going to be a big leverage thing that happens you see and we think this is perfect timing in Esther's life at the perfect timing when we're wanting to convince her to get the damn crane <laughs> stop running around with a little hammer in your pocket and trying to make things happen get the crane get the crane are you ready to get the crane? Yeah. All right. So.